I want to follow up on my thoughts on what they showed and announced for the game awards. So also, I want to congrats to all the winners in the show. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that Elden Ring is game of the year because I heard good games about it. I'm not a Dark Souls fan, but I have heard that game is really good. So congrats to them. I know some people probably say, oh, it should be God of War, but hey, you know, this makes sense. It's been out since March. They prove it. I heard it's fun. So maybe for me in the long run there. So anyway, I also want to give my quick thoughts on the Bill Clinton kid that happened in the end of the Game Awards. So for people that don't know, there's a lot of people already talk about it. I'm going to put the links in the description box. So there was this random kid that out of nowhere was managed to come up stage with Miyazaki's team and quote unquote trying to blend but of course it wasn't because when I first saw it I'm like why do I see a kid he's so out of place maybe he is someone's translator maybe he's an intern and I'm like wow this kid and then for a while I was noticing he was acting weird was looking at the cameras looking at the environment and then of course in the end this kid said something weird and what he said was something about an Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. I'm not going to get into it. There's a lot of people already talk about it. So like I said before, links on the description box. What do I think about the situation? First of all, it's stupid. It's really, really stupid. Because it can be dangerous, believe it or not, for this situation. So for some might say, it's just a joke. It's a troll. Kid just wants his five seconds of fame. I get that. But it also what it means is that, first of all, Jeff Keighley's The Game Awards is not secure. The safety there is not to the utmost standard to some extent. That if a kid was able to snuck behind pretending to be part of Miyazaki's team, and then what? See, and that was a shocker because when I saw it first, I was watching first, I didn't even notice it. I had to watch it back. At first, when I was watching Miyazaki's thank you speech, like, who's this kid? What's his relationship with them? And again, not to be political, a lot of people probably the same thing, is that the kid didn't really look like that it fit with the group. So, and then, of course, you know it for a while. The kid also was just, like, looking somewhere. And then, of course, still, you got to give the kid prop for being respectful. And when there was a clip that he was interacting with one of the developer team, the developer... Yeah, he was respectful, so I have to give that props. And uh, he waited until Miyazaki's speech was finished, and then he does his thing. Still, even so, hey, you know, being respectful, considerate, he's not doing anything that's dangerous. In hindsight, that situation is dangerous, and that's why it is stupid, sadly to say. Joke it may be, and I learned this in college, that a joke is a joke, but to some extent... It can be offensive. And what's the offensive part for this one? Well, nobody knew who the kid is. What if the kid was dangerous? Oh, I'm not dangerous. Well, people don't know that. So that's the reason why that's kind of dangerous. Because one is a security breach. Second is the kid, to some extent smart, was able to blend in with the group. You notice him. He was interacting with one of the developer. And like it was nothing because it, you might wonder how come the, nobody did something with the kid. Well, it, the report from the internet said was that in the game award side, they saw that this kid was part of Miyazaki's group. And in the case with Miyazaki group, they saw the kid was part of the employees of the game award. Maybe he's there to escort them, whatever. Maybe to protect them for something. Again, who knows? And it was just weird there. So that's what I read in the internet. And you might say, okay, stupid, dangerous. How can it be that dangerous? So let's do a what if Marvel scenario. Let's go back to 2020. Let's say that Game Award was in person for whatever reason. Let's pretend like the situation also was different. Let's say, you know, maybe something about there's no pandemic. I'm just saying that. Again, what if? It's a what if, like Marvel what if. Let's just say in 2020 was a in-house Game Awards. And of course, you know what the game of the year for 2020. The Last of Us Part 2. Neil Drunkman. There's a lot of people who don't like Neil Drunkman. So what if there's this random guy that no one knows 
and people thought, oh, he's part of Naughty Dog, or maybe he's an employee. What if this person has some bad intent and he's willing to hurt, let's just say, Neil Drunkman? Just an example because a lot of people don't like the guy. Neil Drunkman, nobody likes the guy, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So then what? What happened? Oh, Neil Drunkman, game of the year 2020, he won. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes the game. You ruined Joel, blah, blah, blah. You know, political crap. And then suddenly he just jumped in because he hated the game because he loved the game. Now he hated it and he hated what Neil Drunkman did. Then what? There you go. So what if that's a scenario? So the bottom line is, yes, that kid kind of was <laughs> was very, to some extent, considerate and he wasn't doing anything dangerous. But just being there and nobody stopping him because they didn't know what was going on, that's already dangerous enough. So another one they said is, what's the deal with the kid? Apparently, this kid was known to be political. And like I said, links in the description box. And apparently, this kid was also in BlizzCon 2019. And he basically said, free Hong Kong. And for people who don't know what that story is, here's a gist if I remember there was a Hearthstone player, and this guy basically said, free Hong Kong. Blizzard was very concerned, and apparently they suspended the player. And not only that, the caster, they were fired because the winner basically said, free Hong Kong. That's all I know. And then, of course, apparently this kid was also in Infowar. Again, not going to touch that. And apparently another one is that he was in a basketball game and he had a shirt that said, Free Hong Kong again. And then the camera guy had a pan out immediately. So you kind of get an idea, kind of like what the backstory with this kid is. So from what I understand, is this kid is political. Again, not going to touch that. In conclusion is, the bottom line is, what the kid did was dangerous. And I kind of felt sorry for Jeff Gill because you can tell in the end he was sort of like agitated. So, what's the moral of the story? Well, for Jeff Keighley, maybe the Game Awards 2023 have better security. Just saying there. Second is, I was watching Review Take USA's video. Make it more interesting for some people. For me, it's okay for what it is. But, you know, for some, it's like, nope. Nope. Kind of boring. So, again, potato, potato there. Yeah, so, it is unfortunate this happened because apparently there's always been some weird controversies happening in the Game Awards. And people hope that it was, oh, this is going to be a clean sweep. But nope, you got a kid that basically some weird things about Bill Clinton. Again, don't know about that. Anyway, that's my thoughts about that situation. It is stupid. It is dangerous to some extent. And it's just kind of lucky that the kid did not have any bad intent. It was just basically either a troll that he wanted to do something. Because apparently they did say that this kid was planning to do this. So, again, there you go. He got his, his five seconds of fame. Congrats. With that, I'll see you guys later.